It's definitely possible to expand Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome people or EDS people just like anybody else. Obviously, one of the things with EDS people is that they're unstable and they have hypermobility. So this is just going to create another thing that we're going to need to pay attention to during treatment. And the biggest thing with EDS people is we need to see what's going to be involved in determining a neutral bite position. That is, how do the upper and lower jaws come together when all the muscles in and around the head and neck can come to rest? And what we usually will do is we will create a bite splint, a neutral bite splint. So we'll take measurements to see where the upper and lower jaws come together, where we're estimating that all the muscles should be in this neutral position. We'll, over a few appointments, adjust it to find this neutral position. And in actually going through this exercise, we'll actually be able to determine how unstable this EDS person really is. If we have a difficult time finding a neutral position, we'll conclude that they're a little bit more of a difficult case and we need to expand them a little bit more carefully. If it's rather easy to find the neutral position and they remain stable on the bite splint for a period of a few months without any issues, we'll actually proceed forward with a pretty high level of confidence that we can expand these people just like anybody else. But really in short, I would approach EDS people's expansion treatment just like anybody else where we're taking a look at the CBCT. Do they need expansion? As long as we can find a neutral position and treat them safely and carefully, we're going to expand them just like everybody else. In fact, oftentimes the poor bite and the small jaw structure is actually the root cause or one of the root causes of why somebody with EDS is so unstable. So usually in treating these people with expansion to achieve a better bite position and better tongue posture will actually help these people and dramatically improve the EDS condition and symptoms.